you know what, guys? Those were mostly pretty good jokes, I think. But our monologue writers write pages and pages of jokes every day, and um, they're not all good. And honestly, sometimes, sometimes I think they just like throw in some real stinkers just to fill up a page and meet the assignment. Bayes, I think that's probably accurate, right? So anyways, uh, Bayes and I got to talking, you know, because it's understandable that they fill out the pages, but uh, we're about to have audiences back. And that kind of laziness well, really has to stop, which means it's time for a surprise inspection. <laughs> and then maybe tomorrow we'll do one for graphics. <laughs> so here's how this works. These are real jokes that were actually submitted by our writers that are unusable for this show. Some are dumb. Some are patently offensive, and some are baffling. Most importantly, the writers don't know we're doing this. And because a lot of them don't watch the show, they'll never know we're doing it. <laughs> Here we go. U.S. wildlife officials announced today that 22 animals and one plant have become extinct, including the Bachman's warbler. Thankfully, Bachman's warbles will live on forever. So that, that joke was dependent on people knowing that song, Taking Care of Business, was uh, performed by Bachman Turner Overdrive. <laughs> <laughs> the rare audible UG from Shoemaker. Um, that was Golditch? That was Matt Golditch? Let's take a, uh, let's take a look at a photo at Golditch. There you go. That's the man who wrote that joke. That's the face he made when we told him we were going to do it in the show tonight. A uh, house outside, all right, here we go. A house outside of Boston that recently caught fire and partially burned down was listed for sale last month. For more on this, check out Manchester by the Sea. So that's, that's a joke where either you've seen the film and you're aghast at the punchline, or you haven't seen the film, and then you would go, you'd watch the film, and then you would be aghast after that. So that was courtesy of Ian. Let's take a look at Ian. <laughs> Who, I guess, wrote that joke, and then we took a photo of him having an orgasm. The pharmaceutical company Pfizer announced yesterday that it has submitted data to the FDA about its coronavirus vaccine in children ages five and older. Damn it, right when I gotta go to prison, said R. Kelly. <laughs> Again, offensive, but way more baffling than offensive. I mean, I hate to defend the man, but I feel like five was a little younger than the target. And this joke implies that his fear, go back a card, Wally? Yeah. So damn it, right when I go to prison, because he was, it implies that like his fear was getting coronavirus. <laughs> it just stinks. It was written by Mike Scollins. Let's take a look at him. Yeah. Passengers on a Spirit Airlines plane in Atlantic City, New Jersey, were forced to deplane over the weekend after a large bird caused an engine fire, which is an extremely rude thing to call the flight attendant. A large bird. So, like, I guess that would be, like, British slang. Like, this may, it would maybe work if it was British Airways or Michael Caine Airlines. Karen wrote that. Let's take a look at her. There she is. Shame on you, Karen. Producers announced yesterday that James Bond actor Daniel Craig will next year star in a Broadway production of Macbeth. Said Craig, the name's Beth. Macbeth. <laughs> Brian wrote that. Here he is. <laughs> According, uh, according to a new study, well, I hate to do this to you, Wally. What? I'm going to surprise inspect your cue card. You wrote new twice. Uh, Turn it to the camera. Which one? According yeah. to a new, new study. We caught Wally, too. It could Wally. have been really new. What? 
could have been like really new, so that's why we wrote it. Do you think that's how scientists say it? We have yeah. a new, new study. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably not. You guys. <laughs> Probably not, okay. <laughs> According to a new, new study, <laughs> mice have feelings of sadness and depression. Ask scientists, did they say if it was because of the cancer we gave them? <laughs> so again, Allie wrote that. Let's take a look at Allie. So Allie, so I guess in this, so there was a new study, so a different set of scientists did the study. And then the uh, first set of scientists read that, si uh, that study and was like, oh. Today, uh, oh, Scollins is back, everybody. <laughs> Today was National Vodka Day, and it's about to pop off. <laughs> See, I could never, I mean, there's like courtesy laughs from the people who work here because they know Scollins. But like once we have strangers back, they're gonna be angry. <laughs> the Munich airport in Germany was put into lockdown last week after a man allegedly tried to go through security with a live mortar shell that he forgot was in his book bag. Said the man, oh my God, I should have eaten this before getting here. <laughs> Nothing, and they like you, Karen. <laughs> the people here like you. <laughs> In honor of Disney World's 50th anniversary, Southwest Airlines has unveiled a commemorative custom designed plane that features an outline of Cinderella's castle on the outside. But heads up, the inside is still full pumpkin. The castle. <laughs> now, a part, you, part of it, again, if it was the carriage, full pumpkin would maybe work. The castle wasn't a pumpkin. It's Ian again, let's take a look. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> Audiences are coming back. This is very serious. And I feel like the seriousness of this moment is gonna be undercut in a second when we see the title card again. But I really want you guys to start focusing on the work. This has been Surprise Inspection.